My name is Al and today I have five brushes inside of ZBrush that you really need to add to your tool belt. So all the brushes mentioned in this video will be linked down below. So if you've been in ZBrush for any amount of time, you've heard the name Shane Olson, known for making wonderful blockouts of characters, really, really talented artist. And he has many free brushes. Two favorites are the Insert Mesh Brush. So obviously I have some custom UI, but this is IMM 3D Character Workshop. And all this is are just some simple different shapes. For example, I use this one all the time. So I can drop in these shapes and start blocking out my character. And the other one is appendage. It's nice, it just already comes kind of tapered. So this would be great for the building blocks of, you know, a bicep down to the elbow and then the elbow down to the wrist because it has that nice taper. Same thing with legs, fingers, whatever you need. This is an awesome brush to block things out very, very quickly. All right, Shane's second brush that I love is the pinch brush. And take a look at this, this is awesome. Shane was a sculptor back in the Disney Infinity days. So he developed this brush to help him get that stylized look. So I'm holding Alt, then I can come in here and get this nice form. It's when I hold Alt like that, so it's doing that, or I can cut in just normally. This is what the brush does. So it uh, really helps me define the forms in a very stylized manner. So if you're doing stylized characters, this is uh, really the brush that you need. All right, so the next brush is called Nose Machine, and this is my brush set that I've created. It is not free, but it is $1. So this is an insert mesh brush. And before I dive into it, let me go ahead and Get rid of this guy's nose like a little baby Voldemort. And what I'm gonna do is pick nose machine. Let's go to the very first one. And I'm gonna drop in that first nose and then press W. After you press W, we can obviously move it into position a little bit better. But after you press W, if you left click and drag up here, it is actually going to shift and cycle through all the options here, which is super powerful because on your character, you can visualize very quickly the different nose types like oh uh, yeah that is the nose for my character or you might say you know what that's not the perfect nose for my character but i really like this one as a base we cycled through we found it obviously we would want to uh fix this have this penetrate just a little bit we could then dynamesh and get the sculpting and changing the nose doing whatever we want to okay next up this is the damn standard two. If you are doing more realistic, so to speak, more realistic creatures, characters, things like that, this, you need this brush. This brush is also free. And take a look at this. I use this brush all the time. It works great on this kind of creepy character. So with a larger draw size, if you have too small a draw size, you're gonna say, oh, that's kind of stupid. That's not really doing much. Just make a larger draw size and come in here. Look what's going on. So it's using this alpha, but it makes these really awesome, happy little accidents that can inform where the skin is going, like the folds, how it interacts. So with something like that, that is super cool because I've got these happy little accidents that I could come in here and pick which ones and accentuate some of those forms where those lines are going, obviously, but pretty darn interesting. It's a fun one to use, skin folds, wrinkles, scarring, and I can just kind of wiggle it around. Look at that meaty goodness. All right, the next brush that we're talking about today is the Move Elastic. Now, yes, this is a default brush inside a ZBrush, but I like it so much. Now, the sculpt's a little bit far along to actually be doing this, but earlier on in a sculpt, I like to use Move Elastic with a big draw size just to like play with proportions. See if I need to change direction. Maybe I want these like really low, weird cheekbones with these droopy eyes. Um, if you're doing like caricatures, things like that, you can very quickly alter your entire sculpt 